without anodes, secretly part of your boat is corroding away. Welcome to my uh, little man cave I've got here. It's Gutsy's Garage. Right now, we're gonna talk about anodes. Quick science lesson for you all. When we've got all these different metals together in water, we're effectively making a battery. Aluminium props, stainless shafts, alloy heads, magnesium pistons, the list goes on. The electrons supplied by one of the metals gives themselves up when in seawater. That's in the form of metal ions. So if you're losing metal ions in your boat, there's a good chance that something is corroding. If your boat lives on the water, there's a good chance it's getting eaten as we speak. So the more dissimilar metals there are on your vessel, the more chance of electrolysis happening. There's a few ways to hold on to our ions. One is to make sure everything's electrically bonded. That's if we're not bonded, you're thinking of your sickos. <laughs> so those little wires you see on your boat sometimes, they're bringing down the electrical potential down to the same level. So these bonding straps are made from tin copper or wire, and they form a grounding circuit for your, all your fittings. The other way to manage electrolysis is by adding a third metal into the circuit. This one gives up its electrodes easily. This selfless little part is called a sacrificial anode. Uh, so in technical terms, it's an electrode. And electrodes love chewing current. Our, our outboard engines are our own little conductor, creating its own negative charge. The salt water creates a small positive charge, and that's when electrolysis starts. To do their job properly, these little babies, anodes, need to be exposed. You can't paint them. Some of these will last 100 hours, some of these will last 1,000 hours, but it's very important to make sure you inspect them. Hmm, new. No. <laughs> it costs less than 100 bucks for a set of anodes, and I get mine from Outboard Spares, and it's damn sight cheaper than the trouble you're gonna have if you don't replace them. Without anodes, you'd be left with holes in your water jackets and cylinder heads and all sorts of nasty stuff. And there we go, look at that. It's got chlamydia for sure. Definitely been to Bangkok. I've seen worse. I've seen just the bolt sitting there actually. Quick, simple, easy as, once again, outboard spares. So just remember that sacrificial anodes are designed to corrode a lot faster than the rest of the metals in your motor. Or your boat for that matter if you're an alloy boy. A lot of people ask, What's my favourite bike in here? It's hard to pick, but this is my daily. This is a little uh, new style monkey. Um, grouse bike, I ride it every day. Um, little Honda, they kind of went a little bit different on these ones, went to 125 instead of the, the Z50 style ones. Um, kind of didn't really like it myself to start with, but I bought one anyway, because that's what you do as a Honda enthusiast. When something comes out, you buy it. But after riding it, I just couldn't stop. Um, and yeah, now I've chucked 3,000 Ks on it, needs a new back tire, and there's a colleague of us we're doing monkeys around Tasmania in, in, uh, in Feb, actually, doing a pub crawl. There's about seven of us, so it should be sweet. 